Alright, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Shopback 16 gallon 5 horsepower. I think it's a WD1637 model. I just wanted to talk a little bit. This is the box it comes in. Let me turn the light on real quick. Comes in this big box. Oh, it's pretty big. Just taking this with my iPhone, so it kind of sucks. But, uh, okay, focus. Powerful 5.0 peak, you know. It is pretty strong. It's got a 15-foot cord, which is really nice. It comes all wadded up, and it, you know, it doesn't really like to get its shape back, but whatever. It's got the tug-along hose, which I'll uh, talk about later. It's got casters right here, and you can even put... Or, can't really see that. Like over there, you can put a tube or a accessory in it. It's a one and seven eighths hose, which is right in the middle, and there's not too many accessories for it. So I, I don't know. You know, it's got a drain plug for liquids, which I'm not going to be doing in this one. It's got a quick lock. Oh, that's so. Normal shop bags have a nut on the bottom of the filter. This one just pops on and off. It's like rubbery. It comes with a 5 horsepower, 16 gallon, 15 foot, and a 1 and 7 8 7 foot hose. Came with a special car nozzle and a utility nozzle. And it just tells you you can get a wet nozzle, a filter, dusting brush, I mean, claw nozzle, which doesn't really fit, a HEPA, and just a fine dust one. So here it is itself. You know, it's. For a shop vac, it's pretty heavy. Not heavy duty, just heavy weight. You know, I'd say it's probably 25 or 30 pounds. These casters are pretty big, though, and it's, you know, I have yet to pull it over. It's rigid, which comes with a lifetime warranty. It's got a, it's a weird shape to it. It's like a bug, almost. It's got handles like this. You see, you just take it. There's the filter. I cleaned it, but it just looks dirty. And see, this is what it was talking about with the safety, or the quick lock. You just put it like that, as opposed to the nut. Oh, it's coming through, it's coming through. Okay, let me put it back on. And there's where the drain plug you can't see shit there's a drain plug thing in there so you can drain I was in the sucking up toilet water earlier today just because you can try to get this top back on sorry if it's shaky which it is so it's got this drain port here comes out. No, it's probably it's two fingers. Oh, it leaks some dust, which is good. So I'm gonna do a test on some random stuff. See this is the tug hose right here. It's got a little clip on it. You just just clips in right there. It's, I mean, seven feet long. It's pretty long. Here, I'll go over some of my accessories. Bring it over here so I can put them on. All right, I purchased a dusting brush. You know, just a little 45 maybe. Dusting brush, 45 degree angle. Put that right here. I have a crevice tool, which came with the dusting brush. I think it was $13 for the two of them. And this is pretty, it's pretty uh, narrow. Like it, you know, you see, that's my thumb. I don't have a huge hands. Came with that. Here is the car nozzle. Two fingers, you know. My mom just pulled in, I don't want. I got a muffler. 
which isn't really a muffler. It just keeps the uh, wind from blowing at 170 out the back, which is a nice feature. But that was $12, I think. And then this utility nozzle. And of course, the two, two foot each, I think, locking hoses, tubes. Alright, I'll do the test in a minute. My mom's home, I'll tell him to shut up. Thank you.